hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing you a scholarship opportunity at the university of cambridge in the united kingdom this is a university that is very well known for a lot of research and a lot of scholarships so i'm going to tell you more about this global scholarship that is covering a lot a lot of students and it's for masters for phd and for postgraduate studies if you come here no regrets you're going to enjoy your time and you're going to get a lot a lot of experiences so let's get started this is their website i'll just take you through uh, a nutshell of what the program is all about what the scholarship is all about and then at the end of it all you can be able to place your application so when you come to their website i will share the links in the description box uh, they give you an overview about the scholarship so first of all, they are offering uh, about, about 80 full cost scholarships. So full cost scholarship means they are going to cover a lot of things that you need for you to survive. Basically, almost everything that you need. What I like most about this scholarship is that they don't say only from Africa, only from Asia, or only from developing country. Even if you are in a developed country, maybe you've immigrated to a different country, you can be able to apply for this scholarship and to get it. In approximately two thirds of these awards will be given to PhD students and then 25 to US and around 55 to international round so you see you have a, a chance of getting the scholarship because they have sort of divided it people coming from the US you have a chance from the rest of the world there's also a chance for you so of course there's a criteria that they will use to award people the scholarship you need to have outstanding intellectual ability that is you're clever you're intelligent you need to be to have valid reasons for the choice of course you know of course you will be able to show th this through your statement of purpose through your motivation letter and then you convince them that i'm i'm capable of uh, doing good or i'm capable of performing the best if you give me the scholarship then you need to commit to improve the lives of others it's not only about you but it's also about what you're going to give out there once you get the scholarship and then leadership potential that is a very very important part so um currently there are at least 225 scholars from 50 countries uh, studying in cambridge so it's a very international university like the video i've shown you they have people from all over the world it's a place you can feel comfortable it's a place you can make friends you can socialize you can network without feeling out of place okay so um i'll i'll skip those parts you can always go through that yourself and i go to the funding like what are they going to give you if you get the scholarship okay they will, they will give an, a maintenance allowance this is stipend for a single student that means without your family without your children they will give you 18744 pounds for 12 months okay this is at the 2022-2023 rate if you divide this by 12 months you, you are getting more than 1000 pounds per month and this is allowance of course you know allowance is what goes into your daily use maybe your transport your food your accommodation and all that stuff so if you are going for phd you're going to get this up to four years you know phd is a whole research that can go for as as long as four years okay and they will also pay you single airfare at the beginning and at the end of the course so the beginning of course is for you to come from your home country to the university and then at the end once you've cleared everything to go back home and there's visa you need they will also cover for the visa course so i told you this is a fully funded scholarship opportunity which means that everything will be catered you don't have to worry so much about where will i get the fare to go even the health like health insurance also will be covered for you all right so uh those are the main main things there's also those students who may be coming maybe with family there's a family allowance that will be given to you it has specific rules for example they will not give anything to your spouse but if you are coming with children they'll give a certain amount to the first child and then a certain amount to the second child but to the spouse they will not give them if you'll be doing field work you know if you're doing masters or phd and you have to do a research there's field work that you need to do and you need to maybe get in some money for the traveling and for everything they will also give you that type of funding 
and if your family for example uh, and you are, you have maternity maybe you get pregnant and you need to have a maternity leave or maternity support funding or even paternity if you are a guy they will also help you in that so there are many many fees that are helping you to 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 be able to be comfortable so that when you do your studies you concentrate on it all right so um most scores are covered by the scholarship but gates cambridge does not cover bench fees or the cost of scientific equipment or similar academic resources so it's a fully funded opportunity but there are some of these extra things that they may not be able to cover for you but uh, just from the read and from the look of things this is a scholarship you can comfortably do because most of the mandatory things you know you did you need will be covered and despite that once you go there if you're able to find a part-time job you can be able to do these other things so i will just shortly take you through how you are going to apply for this scholarship and then i will leave it at that you can be able to come and check for the rest of the things for yourself so it is a sort of a combined application form so there's an application whereby you'll be you'll be applying to get a particular course that is offered by gates cambridge i don't want to go into those courses but uh, you can check the courses that are offered there is for both masters PhD and postgraduate study. So if you find a course that you may be interested in, it can be able to be covered by this scholarship. So what you do, you will apply for the course and then you will also have another application that you are applying for the funding section. Okay, so you will indicate both you apply for your course and you apply for the funding section. So if they admit you and they give you the the scholarship they will inform you and of course if you have any you need any clarification or you need any sort of thing you can just reach out to them through an email and they will be able to sort you out so there are things that they will need when you are applying of course you will fill in a form for the applying for the course you will fill in a form for the funding section maybe you will attach in some things a cv uh, a motivation letter and then there is a gets cambridge statement that you will need to write this is sort of like a motivation letter so it will be in more than 300 characters which is approximately 500 words please explain why you are applying for a gates cambridge scholarship and how you meet the four main criteria so remember the criteria that i told you about intelligence leadership skills we, we talked about it before you need to show that through your statement this statement is most sort of a um, a motivation letter and by the way if you have no idea i usually review motivation letters at a fee so if you've applied for any kind of scholarship and you need me to uh, review a motivation letter i am able to do that uh, not free of charge uh, you need to compensate for the time that i will spend to do your motivation letter if you're in need of such services please reach out to me you can write in the comment section reach me out on instagram or by email address and i'll be able to discuss with you and help you out yeah um so the statement is used by the gates cambridge to distinguish between those candidates who have been nominated by academic departments okay so once you apply for the scholarship uh for the course that you want to do it will be in different departments then they may be able to nominate you for you to be able to uh, get the scholarship so they will use your statement to now say okay we'll give this person and this person we won't give them the scholarship uh, if you are going for the phd you need a research proposal of course you know phd is really research intensive so you need a proposal of this is what i'm going to do this is you know you need to find out about how to write a proposal and write that then place in your application and then you need to have a reference a reference is probably someone who's seen your academic work currently maybe your supervisor for your thesis currently or someone in the past who's gone through your academic work and they know you there's something uh, they need to write about you okay and they will scale you maybe they will say i can give him a hundred or i can give him 75 or there's a particular scale they use to be able to tell more about you so that this can be used to to determine whether you're going to be picked or not okay so they will ask them different questions and then they'll be able to answer that directly to the university. So there's details about this. Please just come to this page, get to know more about it and then uh, decide who, which reference you're going to use and then let them know uh, they can write for you. It cannot be a close friend and it cannot be a family. It has to be someone who's seen your work, uh, mostly at school, who has supervised you in one way or the other at school. 
yeah so i'm going to share these links there's here a button where you are you are going to apply so if you're interested you just come follow this link uh, it's self-explanatory and like I said if you have any questions you can always reach them out to the University University of Cambridge They'll provide their contacts here and they provide any other thing that you need. I hope this is helpful Please consider sharing this video to other people who may find this helpful to your spouses to your friends And to people who are looking to go to study in the UK and I hope that I will see you in the next videos that I'll be sharing Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye